All right, welcome to another episode of Midway Region. We're at episode number 35 here. This is uh, it's currently unnamed. I'm uh, calling it Residential Unit 1 for the moment because uh, it's basically going to be residents, and um, I think I'm going to do some tourism and uh, uh, casinos. Uh, put some casinos in, in this area up here. So we've got our initial road network laid out, and we're going to start adding some other roads in here. One that I did want to add, and that was suggested, I believe, by View and Alpha. Uh, if, if I got that wrong, I'm sorry. And if I got that right, congratulations. <laughs> Both to me and to View. <laughs> but uh, we're going to draw a... Uh, sorry, I'm just double-checking my feed here. We're, we're going to draw a uh, high-density road right across here. And I think we actually want to bring it out just a little bit more. Yeah, right about the, eh, come on. I want this to be like right in the middle. And I'm going to be finicky about it because I'm weird like that. There we go. That's uh, close enough, I think. So we're going to go that way, and then we're going to come out from here, right about where it hits flat. So somewhere right about, right about there. And then we're going to do this. And make our corner. There. Then we're going to come over here. We're going to do some, we're do a fun corner here. Hopefully we get a nice bridge to come across here. Oh, oh, there it is. Let's see if I can make this nice little bridgey deal. Um, something like that, maybe. Let's see how that turned out. Oh, that actually works pretty good. Come over the bridge. A little bit of a dip as you come over the hill. I can live with that. Cool. So I just I want to add some more routes uh, to to get the Sims around, make sure they can get to where they're trying to go, especially from the mass transit here. Because I'm really going to try for a high wealth tourism city here. Because that's what I decided. Since I have these two in in really good proximity to where my uh, my casinos and, and hopefully some high wealth uh, uh, commercial um, oh what do you call them hotels those things <laughs> uh, hopefully we can get some some high wealth tourists in because I've never really built a fully high wealth uh, tourist city um, I've done I've done many medium wealth and, and low wealth and stuff and, and, and in fact I did one for this series the the Funway Park uh, episodes so those are um, that's an amusement park city that's, that's basically medium and, and low wealth. It's got a few high wealth, but it's not making a ton of money there. So anyway, we got our ferries in. There are no um, there are no uh, trains. So sadly, we can't do a train station. But that's what kind of led me to think of, well, maybe we'll try to make this primarily high wealth. Um, since we have no trains to bring in you know, the massive amounts of medium and low wealth people. Uh, we'll, we'll try for the airport here. And um, we did just lay our a couple of our, our um, services. We need to lay some more here. How's the region on power? We can buy power from the region, which I believe we are. Oh, no, we're not. We can. And there's a little bit of water, which is why we put down our other services. And I think we're going to jump over to our other cities and do trash from those. Or at least we're going to attempt to. Oh, and hello, Mr. Play and Zealotus. It's a cool name. Um, welcome to the chat. If you guys have suggestions, let me know. I am looking for a name for the city. So, you know, throw them out there. I'm not that creative with names. <laughs> um, another thing I want to work on here today. Uh, oh, before I forget. 
okay, one, I do want to work on this because I don't want so many intersections. Um, in fact, I'm probably going to take these two out and come out with another way to connect them. And you might be able to hear my cat. She's pawing at me right now. So. Um, Anyway, the, the other thing I didn't wanted to do before I forgot was some of these services. Now, let's, let's think about education first. I want this to be a university city. We'll probably also have a university in the other, uh, in, in the other, you know, high wealth city of this area or of this region. In this area of the region, um, but I, I think I, that's what I want in this city. I don't know. Maybe community college actually fits the theme better. Maybe I'll do like two community colleges or something. And really, honestly, before I do that, I, I should put in these other services. We're gonna need police, and I know just the place for them. Because this road is still going to connect here for sure. They're going to go right here. And we're going to beef that up. And I think we're going to try this city without drones. I know I was originally thinking I was going to do drones, but I think we're going to try this city without drones. So we're not going to fully pimp it out, but we're going to start it off really well. And I always like to put one of each of the Detective Wing and the Crime Prevention Center. One, because it fits really nicely along the outside. And uh, and, and two, because um, then you get you know two of each kind of vehicle for the city. And they really do help pre prevent more crime. So um, this is kind of my standard police layout. Um, helicopter is totally optional. I throw it in there because sometimes, I mean, it, it helps, especially in higher uh, traffic cities, like where you have a lot of road traffic. It, it really helps to slow down, not slow down the criminals, but take longer before they can escape. Um, so, anyway, this is my standard layout for, for police precinct. Um, hospital will need some, but I don't think we'll need a ton. And I'm thinking about putting it, maybe down here isn't such a good idea. Maybe up here. In fact, maybe I will put it right where I was thinking about putting the community college. Hmm. Could put it right here. I think I like putting it on this side better, but I'm going to totally mess with this road, so... Hmm... Do I want to put it somewhere else? Well, we want some high wealth people down here, so maybe... Yeah, I, you know what? I totally know where it's going. Since we can't fit a high wealth building in here, or, you know, two high wealth buildings in here, it's going... Oh, and I, it won't let me put the actual road on it. That's right, because it, it, it creates its own little road. So we're going to do it this way. And there. Oh, let me do there. So, if you guys don't know, Surgical Center... Uh, Halves makes the injury recovery time half, and the uh, diagnostic lab makes the sickness time half. So if you have both of them, um, your sims move through the hospital uh, twice as fast. It's a small FYI. Um, and for some reason, for me at least, and I don't know if this is way for everybody, but it's a small bug for me. The first time, if I lay a hospital, the first time I go into it, the diagnostics lab is always locked. Um, even if I have completed the research in the region. But if I hit escape, you know, go out of it, go back in. Oh, us oh, maybe I have to play for a second. Usually, right away, it approves. Huh. 
Or does an hour have to tick by? See, of course, now that I want to show this, it's it's not doing it. <laughs> really? Well, whatever. It will approve that there, it, it is done in the region, so whatever. And since we're not doing um, drones... Oh, see, I totally forgot I had the multi-plopper mod. Alright. Trash is being taken care of by somebody else. Fire. I'm hoping to have the education good enough that we don't really need the fire department hardly at all. So maybe I'll just squeeze them up here. Ooh, how much room do I have against the edge? Oh, we're right up against it. Never mind. I was gonna say if I can if I can bring this road you know over somehow I'd totally put it over here because we're to we're gonna do complete um, um, helicopter coverage. Uh, yes, Zelatus, I'm doing a uh, a casino city. Well, it's a, it's really a high wealth residential slash casino city. <laughs> um, let's just put it right here. Oh, I don't want to put it there. Alright, it's going at the end of this road. And we're not even going to have this. But we do want this. Put one of these down. Here, we'll put that down there. And I always place a flagpole. I don't know if you guys do. I like the flagpole. Um... I'm not going to have any industry, so we shouldn't have any need for, um, for hazmat. But, come on, there we go. But we'll have a couple of those. And if you're new to my stream, this is uh, actually a continuation of a whole long series that's been going on in the region. So I'm not playing, whoops, I, I, I'm not playing in sandbox mode, I just stole money from other cities. So, <laughs> just an FYI. Oh, and let's see if this really. Huh. Well, I did want to add a couple of these in though, and those will see those will fit nicely along the back of there pretty well. So we'll put one there, one here, here, and we'll space that out one there. It's almost like that's what I totally meant to do. <laughs> but we'll have really good health coverage in this place, uh, all the way up until we reach whatever, you know, highest density we can. And if we're not using it, we'll turn some of it off for a while, if we need to. So with that figured out, let's do this road layout, and then we'll figure out our schools, because Part of the hard part with schools is making sure everybody is able to get to class on time if you're not using buses, because school buses do a really good job, at least in my experience. So, I'm going to want... Let's do this. Let's do a one park density. Again, I'm sure everybody knows, but one of these parks is the same distance, the same width as a build, or height and width really as a building, as a high density building. I'm sure, everybody knows that though. Nice, Elitus. Built a mixed city with like a bunch of everything. That's actually like pretty hard. I tend to segregate stuff out into cities just because I I can't get everything to function all at once all at the same time. <laughs> it's uh it, it just doesn't work. Um, let's see, do I want to make this road a corner or not? If I make it a rounded corner, then I can't fit all the buildings across. Whatever. I think it'll it, it'll look better. Traffic will probably function a little bit better. So we'll round the corner. Let's go a little closer. Hmm. 
There we go. And then this side is going to dead end into this. And we'll probably have a couple of these here. Let's let's pick some off ramps for this side. And we're gonna, I think we're going to do a staggered block pattern. If anybody's ever seen me build stuff, I do this kind of kind of a lot. It's a good way to get to avoid four-way intersections and uh, to kind of stagger your city out, make it a little more more interesting. Uh, yeah, Zeltas, uh industry cities are actually really fun. Um, I'll pull back out to region view real quick here. This city uh, over here, Cliffside, it's a, an industry city, and uh, before I stole all the money from it, it was uh, it was up to, I don't know, 50 million or something. I did have to look back in my broadcast, to, I can't remember. But <laughs> there's a, it, it, was, it was, yeah, making a lot of money in an industry city. These two are, are a little bit different. Um, this one actually makes, whoops, this one makes quite a bit of money. Um, because it's a it's an omega based city, but I don't have the omega quite tuned up right. To, it, it could make four or five hundred thousand an hour, but I don't I don't have it tuned out. So one of these days I'll go back and do it. But we're gonna measure this out to be since we're gonna lose a little, we're gonna say four. Let's just do four of these. One, two, three, and. Four. Four. And then we'll have a road. Yep. Come in. And a little more. There we go. And then from here we'll draw this across. Um and go two this way. There we go. And then by going two this way, it's just like laying, uh, like when you lay bricks to, um, to you know, for a wall. Oh, we'll do that. We'll do that. And then we'll do four here. So basically, my bricks, uh, so to speak, are four of these parks wide, and I'm offsetting them by half a brick. You know, two parks. Come on, people, it's simple masonry. <laughs> there we go. And so you kind of get the idea of what I'm doing here. And we'll continue this up here. And of course, this method does cost a bit of money because I'm wasting money placing parks. But I can never remember the amount um, the amount of uh, money it would take for a road and all that stuff. So I just do it this way. Plus, it gives just a little bit of variation in it that I kind of like. And I have tons of money. Making money in this game is not hard. <laughs> like I, re I really don't consider money a restriction. There's my cat. Everybody say hello to Buddha. <laughs> He's a talker. Norma Jean, the other one that was pawing at me earlier, she's a... She's just a weirdo. Alright. Zealotus, you have uh, 35 hours according to origin? Or, or just on that one city?
Oh. Um. What? We were, we were actually talking about this the other day. I have. Uh, well, at, here I'll check right now. Um. Now, right now, it says eight hundred and four hours. I don't know if I want this to connect here. And it could. But I also don't want this to be a four way intersection up here. Um, it is a right hand turn from that road, so I think I'm okay with it. Now, since this is two roads back to back, or two roads. Uh, two rows back to back. We'll just do this, and we'll have our spacing of four wide, and then just take out the middle parts to keep the brick. Oh, and the same over here because we're gonna do something over here, but I'm not sure what yet. And maybe we'll just find a way to connect these roads or something. <laughs> uh. Zealotus is giving me an OMG to the 800 hours. That's, well, you know. <laughs> and, and I can't say that 100% of that is playing the game, because I have let some cities run for a while. But you got to figure at least half of that is actually playing. And probably more like three quarters. Aw, oh, come on. Mostly because of crap like this, I can't get it to extend just a little bit. Maybe if I can just put it out there a little. Oh, oh, can I get it to go past? Ooh. Now the bigger question is, am I going to be able to make a corner out of that? Because obviously I'm not going to be able to zone anything down there. Oh, what is that? Oh. You didn't show me that in the preview? <laughs> Jeez. Alright. Let's see what we can do with this. Oh, and of course... Maybe what I can do here. Where is the end of this? Hmm, okay. So here's what I'm actually going to do just take the corner of that bridge and let's see how, see if I can actually make this work in a way that'll, well, work. Seriously? Why are you not letting me? Okay. Oh. Oh, I just can't do it with anything other than a high density road. Okay. So that's going to come out a little bit more. That's actually pretty good. Uh, right. Oh, of course it's going to do that. It never just like looks good. Yeah, see? Because of this big break. Maybe I can redraw the bridge, though. Mm 
Hey, there we go. Come in, cross the bridge, go up a little hill, boom. All right. So we got that part of the road network worked out. And I think I want to connect this down to here. So basically, if somebody's coming in the city, they can turn right here, they can turn right here, and they can turn right here. And if they take a right here, it's another right to be able to get into their home. So let's have it come in here, down this way, and then and do that. Right. Oh, but it is just at the top of the hill there. So maybe we can get. Maybe we can just do it ourselves. Oh yeah, let's try that. Yeah, that'll work. Now the question is, how does it look closer? Even though I know the preview is not to be trusted, it's actually not too bad. It's a little steep. That's not good at all. It's a little steep, but it's a little smoother, too. Oh, let's go this way. Mm. No, this is a more even grade. Well, except for this top part a little bit. I mean, that's it's awful steep, but it's it's a smooth incline at least. All right, now we have this upper part worked out. Let's put down some schoolage. Thinking about having one in the middle up here. And one at the corner over here. And then we'll see how that goes. Maybe we'll place a third one down here. Or, whoops, down here closer to the, the ocean. Speaking of, we need to work on cross streets for this. So, I made this cross street because this bridge was here. And I don't know if I even like it. I mean, I guess I do. It's okay. See you later, Zelatus. Have fun. What's the distance here, though? Okay, that's actually pretty good. I mean, that's right about our block length. So, let's just let's just go with it. We'll do two from this side. Hello, new Halo. Welcome to the chat. I'm always open for suggestions for names, so let me know, for the city name, rather. This is going to be a commercial, high wealth, medium wealth, residential, hopefully high wealth, casino city. If that gives you enough qualifiers for name possibilities. And we might have a little bit of futurization, but I don't think we're going to have... In fact, I don't think we're going to have any as long as I don't do maglev. Because maglev's the only thing that's actually going to... That might futurize. That I might do. I'm... Okay. Maglev will futurize, but I, I only might do it. <laughs>
Well, it's a little bit of an incline down that, huh? A little bit. And I believe that's fine. I don't need to put another road there, but I do need to put another one in here somewhere. Over a little bit farther. Okay. I like to give him just a little bit of space. I know that it's closer to have it's better to have the buildings closer, blah blah blah, but I do like to give it just a touch of space to make sure I can actually fit as much as I want to, and if a little piece of filler sneaks in, I, I'm not that worried. <laughs> Tin <Ten> Villa? <laughs> uh, thanks, Militant Braylor? That's a, an interesting name, but um, I, to be honest, I've actually used a name just like that, except with two N's, <laughs> in in other cities. Like way when I first started building cities in SimCity, so maybe something else. <laughs> Although I don't know, we'll put that in the jar. I'll think about it. There's no there's no real jar. It's a pretend jar, but. Uh, see, I don't know that I want... Sorry, um, this one, if they come off this avenue, that's almost exclusively left turns coming in this way. I don't know, we'll see. And I hope you can't hear that, but the bar that I live above just started playing loud music, so... I'm looking for new apartments on Monday, actually. <laughs> I'm kind of tired of living above a bar. I, I don't really drink, so I, I don't visit the bar. Though they do make really good hamburgers, so I go, I go there for their hamburgers to, often. Um, honestly, I don't I don't really need to go there to drink. My wife's mother, my, my mother-in-law, owns a bar. Or she did, until it flooded out just recently in their turn working on reconstruction and all that fun stuff, but uh, we ended up with a box of liquor that couldn't be, quote-unquote, couldn't be salvaged because it had been opened. So, I have enough liquor to last a, a, a lifetime and the apocalypse. <laughs> it's, and I don't even drink it. It's that's the, that's the worst part. Although there is a bottle of scotch that will get a little bit of use. <laughs> Vecville? Alright, well, we'll name it, we'll name it Vecville. With an E, though, at the end. Oh, I'm sorry, Chody Wolf. You sent me a friend request? On Origin? Ah, there you are. I'm sorry. I'm really bad at keeping up with all of this. So, <laughs> there you go. You're you're added. All right. What other services do we need? It. I guess we just need to. I'm not even totally sure about this road. I kind of wanted it there, but I kind of don't now. I think I'm gonna take it out. Uh, no to you, Road. And then down here, because it's so curvy, which I like, um, but it's going to be, I, the density is not going to be perfect, obviously, and that's okay. We're just going to arbitrarily kind of throw one down the middle here. <laughs> Something like, do to do, like this. Yeah. And then we'll kind of guess at halfways on the side here. And I kind of want to do another... Hmm. Okay. So many fairy terminal. 
So wow. <laughs> um, yes, three ferry terminals because we're we don't have any um, any train station in this city, and I want it to be a commercial uh, or uh, casino city. That that other c word, the one that I can say. <laughs> So, one other thing that I wanted to do here, because I do have this connection up to here, is I wanted to throw a couple of other different connections like that in so that we can help people get from farther points in the city a little bit easier. And another one that I was thinking about doing was actually another little trumpet interchange, like right here, to come up to this road. Although that does that, I don't want a four-way road. Oh, so we'll do it right here. Actually, I like this idea. All right, we'll do it like this. Um, and take this out. There we go. And because I know where that is, I think I can just do three back. Ooh, that's really close to that intersection. Crap. That's what I wanted to avoid. Uh, hey, Tommy. No, that's all right that you weren't here. That's why I record them. You can, you can always catch up, or I'm sure you can miss one. It's no big deal. You'll figure it out. <laughs> And uh, Militant Braylor, yes, I will not forget the buses. Uh, I wanted to get my road network finished laying in, and then I'll figure out where the buses go. I, I try sometimes to kind of make routes, and sometimes I just kind of lay them out even. We'll see what we do here. Oh, yes, Joe, you, all forget, you, you will have lots of problems with casino cities if they... Uh, uh, if you don't know a lot about how roads work in SimCity, because they don't work like roads in real life. <laughs> so, um, alright. I'm trying to figure out a way to get this. Alright, I have an idea here. We're going to do this. This. Got a curvy. We're going to go like this. Can I go down? Nope, water. I want something... Uh, where is that? I just had it. There we go. I need a mouse pad. Like, I need to find them. If anybody's got a mouse pad they want to donate to me... <laughs> it's the weirdest thing to ask for, but... Uh, I, I need to, I guess I need to go get one, but where does it, where does one find a mouse pad now? Because I, I have this piece of, I have this old desk, and it's not, it's not very smooth where I have the mouse. But, yeah, or if somebody has suggestions on where the hell to find a, a decent mouse pad. <laughs> uh, no, Tommy, I haven't made it medium density roads, because I'm going to go back through and pick the ones that I want to be medium density, because some of them I want to actually be high. However, thank you for reminding me. I'm mostly building it in high density just so I can kind of see everything better. Um, how do I want this to come up here? I don't just want to curve it. Well, I suppose I could make this work, but I kind of wanted it, this to come out straighter. And in fact, maybe I can actually do a straight road like here, up to here. I want a tunnel, though. I like tunnels. Or maybe we will just do this. And we'll go down. Mm, or we could go up, but it's not a tunnel. And it gives it it's gonna give it this weird lump at the end. No, oh, that wouldn't though. I suppose that'll have to work. Looks fairly good. 
It would be nice if I could make this brid these bridges connect, but that's just not going to happen. Any place that sell computers. Yeah, see, that's the problem. I live in a fairly small town, and the only computer shop around here is more of like a computer repair shop or like Walmart. And I, I want I want something a little bit better than just an old foam mouse pad. I want, I want one of the... If I'm going to buy one for myself, you know, I want a nicer... Uh, um, Oh, what are they? I forget what the material is called. It's like a plasticky type of material, but it's re it's really good for a mouse surface. Anyway, I think we have the vast majority of the city figured out. And do I want to connect this up here somehow? It already connects over here. Hmm, Amazon, duh. I mean, I, I should, suppose I should, God, I cannot talk tonight. I should search on Amazon. I guess I didn't think about that, and I don't know why. I guess I can't really think, we'll have to examine the, the traffic problems as they happen, because I can't think of any place else that really needs to be zoned out for, or laid out for roads. So, let's do our buses, and then let's start zoning, and then let's get going. So, the terminal is going to have to be somewhere, and I want it somewhere close to, and maybe this will be the actual, maybe this is the answer, somewhere right over here. Right up against here? Yeah, let's do that. Because I want it close to the touristy area. Because, you know, the tourists come straight to the terminal. And actually, no, it's got bus signs on the front. Let's, oops, let's put the bus sign on the back here. Airport, yes, there is an airport. Got one right over here. That's why all the touristy stuff is going in here. Oh, thank you, Chody Wolf. Street cars. I did want to do street cars in this city. Um, I definitely want to do them here, uh, and actually let me grab the streetcar map so I can see a little bit better. Yes, Tommy Maglever, better, but I kind of want to avoid futurization for this, and I don't know why. I just kind of think I do. Now the other question is, where do I put... Oh, do I have room over here? Oh, maybe I put it right in here. Hey, that could work. Oh, really? Man, I was hoping I could fit it in there. Um, I'll definitely be able to fit it in here, though. And actually, I kind of like that tucked a little bit under the, the thing there. Do we have another little, another little piece of road in there? It just doesn't look like that dot. Oh, no, I, okay. I was just, it was the way I was zoomed. Uh, no, um, m Militant Braylor, I, I haven't maxed out the terminals for the airport because I don't know why I should. If anybody can explain to me why I need more than one, or why I really even need one extra terminal for the airport, let me know. Because I haven't figured it out yet. I put one down often, but I, I honestly don't know why. I don't think I need... You know, streetcars can go up here just because they can. 
<laughs> playing a little dire straits downstairs at the bar. Some Sultans of Swing. If you're a fan of dire straits. <laughs> It is kind of a game that we play once in a while up here, is name that tune for what they're playing down at the bar. <laughs> or for those of you in the UK audience, pub. <laughs> Alright, so I think that actually is a fairly fairly decent streetcar network. Um, let's, ah, sorry, grab the window instead of the tourney tool. Let's max these out. And then, ooh, let's put it right inside there. And now stops. Let's start up here. And we're going to probably do a lot of stops in this area. Like one every block here. Or half a block, really. And I think we'll place this one out a little bit. There, because we're not going to do any streetcar stops on this road. We want the streetcars just to blow right through this the, this side area. It's just going to be for connection. Um, and I don't know if I'm going to have streetcar stops down here. I will have them. I should, I should put some down there. I'm definitely putting one right here because then everybody from this area should be able to walk over. And actually, maybe I should move it up a little bit. Hmm, or even better. Oh no, high wealth people don't take the, the street cars, do they? doesn't say. I think they only do medium and low wealth. If anybody knows different, tell me. Because none of these none of these say. And this is a lie. It says does not support streetcar stops. Oh, it totally does. Watch. Here. Put a little piece in. Streetcar stop. What? <laughs> Oh, so the extra terminals for the airport allow for more high and wealth, low wealth people to, or high, eh, high and medium wealth people to come into town. Okay, that makes sense. And so that's why. Okay, so then that's why adding, um, a a adding runways to the airport adds to tourist waiting. See, I thought it would have been the other way around. More runways would have been more people coming into your city. And adding these on would be more ability for tourists to wait to leave. Like, that's... It's counterintuitive, at least to me. But, anyway. Um, streetcar stops. I don't think that they, they do high wall. If somebody knows different, tell me. But, I think that we're just going to put them up here. Because this is going to be our medium wealth area, right? Because we're going to do high wealth down here. We'll do medium wealth up here. These guys will take the streetcar. And so I guess we'll do it about one every other block here, too. Just to pick up... Nah, you know what? That's, that's excessive, I think. I think we'll skip blocks. Still enough to cover pretty well. Plus there's going to be buses up here. In fact... So I, I did it backwards. I want to do it this way. I want this one. Um, I'll go back through and delete the ones I don't want. And then we can put one down at the end here. There we go. Oh, the runways allow for more plane frequency. 
Interesting. Yeah, Chody Wolf. Uh, it says High Wolf don't ask for street cars, so he doesn't think they ride them. And and I think that's I, I totally think that's correct. So since this is our high wealth area, I'm not going to bother putting streetcars down here, but we'll leave the high, the the streetcar avenue as a way for the streetcars to help get around, I guess, a little bit better. Although honestly, we could have just done it up here, whatever. <laughs> so I believe it is time to zone. I can't think of anything else that we're missing. Oh, edumacation. <laughs> I forgot that. Uh, where do we put education? Oh, no. I didn't forget education. We're doing community colleges. That's right. So then the question is, do I put a third one night down here somewhere? And I don't think I will right now. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, Tommy. I, I was pretty sure that was the case. They take uh, medium and low wealth people. So good. So we're going to try to do this city with no industrial at all. I know it's possible to do it, so I'm not really that worried. But I know that there's going to be a lot of demand in the region, too, because there already is for some reason, even though the other two cities are almost exclusively industrial. So let's see. We zone here for residential. And this can be residential. Oh, how come only low wealth can grow there? That's weird. And low low density. Well, I just won't zone there then. Uh, you know what? No, this is the high wealth area should have some good looking you know, some mansions and stuff. Ooh. go. And we are going to need some commercial. I'm going to put one in here. And one in here. And then I think that means we're going to have to make this residential. And this will be residential. And this will be residential. I don't mind going up onto the edges a little bit. It's, either way is cool. Then I think this needs to be residential. And I think I'm going to stop zoning just a little bit short on this. Because I want I don't want people trying to get into their houses right off of the, the avenue there. And same with the other side. And then I think we're going to have some commercial right down here. Let's start it right there. Yeah, it looks like a decent mix. Now let's figure out... Uh, oh, let's do this upper area here too. Residential, residential, so like here, we we'll do a commercial in the middle, and then we'll do the rest of it residential. And then on this side, do a similar deal. Except I think I want commercial here. I think it'll look good up on the cliff until I decide to put something else like the mayor's mansion down here. Uh, although I might <laughs> I might steal the prime real estate next to the water for the mayor's mansion. I don't know. We'll see what I feel like doing. And I think we'll put one... Let's, put, let's actually put a commercial here. 
and then let's make this one commercial. And then the rest of this is going to be residential. I think. on a couple over there too. Uh, oh, this is just now built, Chody Wolf. I took the money from another city. I yeah, this isn't a this isn't a demolition redesign. And I know for a fact that I want commercial here and here. Here and possibly here. No, that's kind of this is a lot going on in that intersection. Because then we're gonna not those and not that. This now, these have all three. That, that's kind of what makes a sleep casino nice. It has all three of them. So I think I might start with the sleep casino. Because this doesn't have high wealth. And it may not make as much money, though. So I'm not sure. No, we'll just start with the sleep casino. And since these are going to be hotels, I'm not going to put down any hotels for now. Um, how do I want to build it to? I think, you know what, we're going to do it right here. And just use, like, the front part of it. Because I just want... Does it start with any rooms? No. So I don't want any low wealth tourists staying there, but I want some medium wealth rooms and a high wealth room on top because I want it to look like a cool pillar. And of course we need a sign. Boom. Coke parlor. No, medium. Okay. So we can't we can't we don't have medium wealth gambler capacity. Okay. Or high wealth gambler. Sorry. Can, Tommy says, "Can can I rename? Can can I rename the city to his name? What what was your name for the city?" It seems like the sci-fi casino tends to make more moolah. You know, I have honestly found that to be the opposite. The couple of times that I've put a, a sci-fi casino in, I don't make any money on it. It always loses money. So there's one casino. And I'm hesitant to put the other casinos in because I know they're going to lose money for a long time until I can actually draw a lot of high-wealth people to the city. So let's put in our tourist attractions, because we are going to need a couple of those. And I kind of want to put one, like, right next to one of these. Which this would work, but there's not enough room here. Which is annoying. Um, this is a high tourist attraction. Oh, and it's small. Hmm. See, I don't think anything's going to build right there, so maybe I'll actually put it, like, right here. I don't know, though. I don't want to take up the space. Big Ben's a high tourist attraction. And it's small. 
I, I could honestly put it like over here or something. Um, okay, let's let's do Big Ben. Or actually no, let's put can I fit the leaning tower in like this aw. Oh. I was hoping I could fit it in this little corner, because it's it's the smallest one. Oh, let's put I don't know, yeah, let's put Big Ben back there. Alright, oh, he's on the first page. Let's put him right there. Oh really, Chuddy Wolf? You you had your your casino city was making more. That's interesting. I mean, it, there's a lot of factors obviously that go into it, depending on what what add-ons you have and and what type of tourists you're drawing into your city and, and all that good stuff. So, but we are actually at the end of this video. It's been an hour, so uh, it's been fun. We're gonna finish up our casinos on the next video and fire up the city uh, as well as the landmarks. But. Excuse me, I hope you've enjoyed the uh, the city so far, or, and actually the region if you've been watching the whole time. Uh, if you want to catch up on the stuff, you can always go over to my YouTube channel and subscribe to my stuff there. You'll see it when I post it, and uh, you know catch up on everything that I've, I've done, because I post it straight from here over to there. Um, of course, you can also, uh, by here I mean Twitch, you can follow me on Twitch, and you'll be notified when I stream live, which is, of course, when I record these things. So you can be part of the wonderful chat room that is feeding me suggestions and distracting me from building the city. So, uh, again, I hope you guys have enjoyed, and if you did, please watch again. <laughs> I'll, see you another, I'll see you next time.